If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new album in the description. So yesterday on Tuesday, February 22nd, Kanye held the listening party for his new album, Donda 2. And that is obviously also the day that it was supposed to release as he announced in that Instagram post with the 22222 release date. And it had some meaning to him, obviously. Well, the listening party happened and you can go watch it it's up on his youtube channel and that thing really was amazing and i'm going to talk about the listening party in a second a bit more in detail because obviously there are lots of new information that we can get from it but i also want to talk about what's actually up with this thing dropping because so far people have not received it on their stem player for the ones that have ordered the stem player product for 200 dollars and it's not up on stemplayer.com and obviously it's not on streaming spotify apple music and so on because he announced that that was the whole point of this whole stem player thing that he did not want to go through the streaming services because they only pay the artists a very small percentage of what he actually earns so let's talk about the listening party that happened yesterday in miami that he announced uh, before that and then also talk about what's up with this record when it's dropping and who can listen to it so let's start with the release party. As I said, this thing happened in Miami yesterday on February 22nd at 9 p.m. EST. For all my European people, I feel bad for y'all, but I feel you. You know, it was at 3 a.m. in the morning, and I don't know how many of y'all stayed up. But this thing went down, and we already saw some pictures before it happened of him setting up a new set of his childhood home, this time indulged in water around it, which I think looked really cool. Um, kind of like the ones we had for the first Donda before that album dropped, even though we didn't have this specific set yet. Well, he performed the new songs, and I mean, there's always, a, you know, a difference when you listen to them live with, like, a lot of external noise still, not the recording in studio quality, than when you listen to it actually in studio quality, so we can't tell a lot about the mixing of these tracks and stuff like that, but what we did here was pretty awesome. Now, he played music for about an hour, but the thing is, he also included previous tracks. For example, we had Off the Grid on there, we had Jail 2 on there, he again brought out people like Marilyn Manson, he was there, um, but then also Playboy Cardi, obviously, for Off the Grid. A guest that I wasn't expecting was Jack Harlow, who really did his thing. So the music we heard was pretty awesome, but I don't think that this was the full Donda 2 album, because it was only about an hour or even a little bit less, the whole show, and we heard you know music from the first Donda album. So I'm not sure if this is actually the full Donda album that we're going to get to hear, but obviously people are out there uploading all the leaks, all the footage, all the, you know, stuff they record at the show, so go check that out. You might have also heard about this one incident of Kanye uh, throwing his microphone because there were some sound issues, and there are all these memes online already talking about, oh, this, you know, all the audio engineers about to get fired, because apparently, and you can hear it like when you listen to the clip, uh, there's some noise stuff going on with the audio that it's just, just not the way it's supposed to be. And then Kanye just straight up threw his mic uh, into the water uh, because he was he was that mad that it didn't go as as he planned it. And I get that, you know, this dude has been trying to put out this this album and really been working on making the show perfect. And if one dude messes up and makes the whole thing not perfect, that's pretty that's pretty maddening. Now, also Elon Musk attended the Donald Two party, and that you know at this point I was like. This thing has really grown to such a scale that it's like really a cultural event. And I thought that was pretty, pretty impressive that even someone like Elon Musk, of course, Kanye and Elon have somewhat of a, you know, they go a little bit back. They've met up and talked and made jokes about each other and stuff like that. So obviously that, you know, that was a funny thing that he was there. But still, for someone like Elon to attend a Kanye West listening party, I feel like that was a, a pretty big moment. Of course, there was all the controversy again with uh, Ye bringing out Mary. Marilyn Manson for all the rape uh, accusations, of course, and I'm really not sure how to feel about it, but he did it with the first Donda, now he's doing it again. Well, you, as I said, go watch the live show, it's up on his YouTube channel, it's a four hour video, but only the last hour is really the, the show, because the first three hours is just the, the waiting screen, and apparently he could not just have cut that out, but yeah, but hey, it's Kanye, uh, so go watch that, but now actually to what's up with this album, because this thing is not 
out yet. It's neither out on stemplayer.com, which was so far the source that, you know, most people thought they could get it on, like because Kanye said that you could download the files from there, but also not the people that have received the stem player have gotten Donda 2 on it yet. Because if you order the product and you know you get the stem player, the device you already know from the first Don that you can like dissect all the tracks into vocals, into drums, into melodies and bass, uh, they should automatically get Donda 2 on their device or at least be able to download it onto it but they've also not been able to do so so far now some people for example on the stem player discord which is also a very you know important resource that you might want to look at if you're really into this they've said that Mike Dean right now is sending out the stems so we might get it on the stem player very soon and I think at that point when we get it on the stem player everybody will be able to listen to it because the stem player is not like a crazy you know protected device people have looked into the source code of it even when the first Donda dropped and found out that certain tracks were supposed to be on Donda or for example on the deluxe that this time they you know can also extract the files and then everybody will listen will be able to listen to the full album so I guess it would just make sense if Kanye dropped it on the stemplayer.com website just like he hinted at and I still think that would be the best move for this so I think as soon as it drops on the stem player you'll also be able to listen to it on stemplayer.com or later on just to the files that somebody has uploaded. Um, this is of course all part of the move of trying to give more creative control to the artists and working around record labels and streaming services which I think is a pretty cool thing for Kanye to speak on and do with his platform. So at, at some point everybody's going to be able to listen to Don the Two. Uh, people are saying it's going to drop uh, over the course of today. Apparently Mike Dean just sent in some stems that are you know a hint that it'll release very soon on the stem player. Uh, if not, we're gonna have, you know, we have a whole nother problem that Kanye again didn't drop on the day that he promised to drop, but I think even the fact that he performed those new tracks at the release party is a pretty good hint and evidence that we'll get the album, you know, actually, just like it was with the first Donda. It took us three listening parts with the first one. I hope it's only one for the second, but if he if does have another, you know, listening party coming up with these big sets and all that, I would be pretty happy with that too because uh, I like those I think that's a pretty cool way to to put out your album well anyway that's what we have so far concerning the uh, listening party the release party and also what's been happening with Don the two rolling out on the stem player and the stem player platform with stemplayer.com as well um, of course you know all the stuff that I talked about and my interpretation of the release party is just my opinion now I want to know what you think about this what did you think of the release party do you think everybody will be able to listen to Don the 2 and how do you think this thing will drop only the stem player device or also stemplayer.com or some other way all of that let me know in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, we'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.